open because of a ruling handed down by the U.S. Supreme Court today. Good evening and thanks for joining us for News Channel 9 at 10. I'm Kagan Harsha. Yeah, and I'm Brianna Pitts. The ruling prevents a situation that would have left only nine clinics in the state, all in major metropolitan areas. News Channel 9's Janice Yu joins us now with more. Janice, I understand this ruling came right before that July 1st deadline. Yeah, that's right. Abortion restrictions passed by the state in 2013 would have gone into effect on Wednesday, closing 10 clinics that don't meet the hospital-like standards. But j just days before facing closure, the Supreme Court sided with the abortion providers and put a halt on the ruling. Well, to keep our local clinics open is um, obviously an incredible victory for us. Pro-choice activist in El Paso rejoiced today following the Supreme Court's decision to allow 10 clinics in Texas to remain open. This is 25 years of, of, of uh, constitutional and Supreme Court law that needs to be upheld here. Um, if you close these clinics down, it effectively bars women's access to reproductive um, health and their reproductive choices. Among those pleased with today's ruling is Hilltop Women's Reproductive Clinic, the only one in the Sun City to perform abortions. Today is a great day for all of us women. Ten of the 19 clinics in the state would have had to close on Wednesday for not meeting hospital-like standards. Because on June 9th, a court of appeals denied a request by abortion providers to delay enforcement. The clinics then appealed to the Supreme Court, resulting in today's ruling. I had already told the girls and everybody here in the office of staff, we're just going to have to start sending everybody, all our patients, back up to uh, the Santa Teresa location. We're going to leave this open just for the referral because we cannot break the law. One pro-life group says they're not surprised by the Supreme Court's decision. They say restrictions on abortions won't help put an end to them. Either age restrictions or the cloning at the clinics or hospital admission privileges or anything like that. Anything you want to put on there trying to limit abortion, it's not going to work. Um, it's going to take those people standing up and just saying, you know, enough's enough. Well, Governor Greg Abbott also expressed his disapproval today. He says, quote, HB2 was a constitutional exercise of Texas's lawmaking authority that was correctly and unanimously upheld by the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. Texas will continue to fight for higher quality health care standards for women while protecting our most vulnerable, the unborn. And I'm confident the Supreme Court will ultimately uphold this law. Reporting live from the newsroom, Janice Hugh, News Channel 9. Okay, thank you, Janice. Well, the debate over same-sex marriage seems to be far from settled, at least here in Texas.